Hello and welcome back to our Starbound playthrough. This episode we are here at our base to start things off because we have done a whole lot of preparations. After last episode I realised that uh, maybe we aren't quite as strong as I thought we were and those bosses maybe we need a little bit stronger armour, maybe we need some other stuff. At the end of last episode we did go ahead, we got ourselves these active techs, we got the distortion sphere, we upgraded our dash so now we have a blink dash, we have extra jumps, all of these things are going to be very, very useful, especially the jumps against Azranox. I think that's pretty crucial, pretty crucial, maybe something I should have had earlier, but we have it now. And also, I finally figured out, uh, thanks to the comments, um, thank you, thank you very much, but the breathing EPP was in the wrong slot. Uh, so now, uh, don't worry, we should have increased damage from the damage augment, we should be able to breathe underwater and stuff, which is nice. You know, turns out this is a cosmetic. Should have really figured that out, you know, back cosmetic. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, we also still have ourselves Bonesmith's armor, we will be upgrading that, because in between episodes I went ahead and grabbed ourselves a lot of titanium. We have 299 titanium. Uh, the reason why I have so much? I went underground on a risky planet and uh, found... <sighs> this, this is going to sound weird, but I found a bunch of gnomes. Um in like a little underground city and I murdered that entire city and mined all the titanium out of it and it went on for actually like the entire planet. It was huge. It was so crazy. There was so much titanium. There was giant metal robots. There was... I don't know. But either way, we now have 34 ball of gnomes and I, I don't know what to say about that other than I'm really worried. I kind of want to throw one out as a test. In fact, let's do it. Let's throw one out as a test. Ball of Gnomes, what do you do? Oh! Oh my god, that's horrible! Perfect, we have an, we have an ultimate weapon right there. Okay, we will, we'll save that for when things look like they're getting tough. Okay, that's, that's without a doubt the best thing we could have. We also have a bunch of food, which is all nice and neatly organized. But for now, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be going in here making ourselves as much titanium as possible. 149 titanium bars. That should be plenty. If that's not enough, then I am absolutely astounded, because that's a lot of titanium. This is gonna be used to get ourselves armor, possibly weaponry, and it'll also allow us to do things like upgrades. Like this, for example, takes upgrades. This is Durasteel, so bad example, but some of these things need titanium. To start things off though, we're getting armor, because that's our priority. Uh, and we do that by, first of all, getting five silver. Okay, well, don't have to worry too much about that. We can grab ourselves a load of silver. I got a whole lot of ore. We shouldn't be worrying about ore until we need whatever the next is, which I assume is Durasteel. All right, but let's upgrade our anvil. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it, it gained a sink. Oh, nice, okay. Um, <laughs> interesting, and we need silk. Oh, no. Oh no, not silk. What are we gonna do? Right, upgrade our spinning wheel. We need 25 string. I can get 180. Okay, that's that's plenty. Never mind. 25 is not gonna be that difficult. Okay, I like the sound of that. So this should allow us to get silk. Hopefully silk isn't too difficult to get, because if it is, that could be a problem. We'll have to see. I don't really know anything, to be honest, but let's upgrade this. I assume this now lets us get silk. Silk requires silk fiber. I don't know how to get that yet. I don't know how to get that yet. I'll have to check that out. That's a little bit awkward. But, uh, you require Durasteel. Can I upgrade this? This also requires Durasteel. Alright. This is our fossil station, which I don't think even needs upgrading. This requires Durasteel. Let's just make salves. We could already really do, so that's not really a change to anything. But okay, let's go ahead and find out how to get silk fiber. Okay, so from what I can tell, we go to the foraging table, we craft a moth trap, and that should grow us silk fiber, which we will then use to get a brand new set of armor. Okay, uh, so we need timber and tungsten. Both of those things are available. Don't use my bed without my permission. That's just rude. Tungsten. Right, we need a little bit of this. Uh, thankfully we don't need too much because I don't have a lot of tungsten. And we also need timber, which is 
possibly the easiest thing to get in the entire game, so that's all good. And let's go ahead, craft ourselves a moth trap. Tracks moths, moths produce silk. Sounds pretty helpful, actually. You know what, I'm even going to make two, so we're going above and beyond. <laughs> let's go ahead and make ourselves another one of those, craft that. And I suppose we can just put this anywhere. I don't think it has to be in a specific place. So let's go ahead and grab these. Oh, they're pretty big, actually. Okay. Let's go ahead and put these just over here, I guess. Don't see why not. Make a little bit of space for them. Beautiful. We now have ourselves some moth traps. I don't know how we get the silk. I don't know if we have to mine around it. Maybe it'll produce silk or... Because it doesn't look like we can just click on it. Florent, not what I'm after. It doesn't look like we click on it. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. For the time being then, I want to quickly go and see if we can do any quests at the outpost. And see if we can potentially get ourselves a new team member. Because as great as our janitor is, it's only a janitor. And having extra buddies would be nice. So let's go ahead and have a look. I want one of these. Did it even buy it? It did. Okay, a colony deed. I think this is important. Okay, so if... I get the colony deed... And place it in my house. Someone moves in. Why is this criteria not housing appropriate? What is wrong? Is that is it because there's not a torch up here? Is that what it is? Here, have a torch. No. Hmm. Oh, is it because there's this hole in the background wall? Just fill it very temporarily. Ah, gotcha. Okay. We got someone to move into our house. I don't know why I did this. Okay, I fully understand. This is probably not what I was... Can you, can you not use my teleport, please? Might have to be a bird, anyway. Okay. I, I thought there was going to be more to it than that. Um, you just, you just hit a freeload off me? You don't even give me quests or anything? You're just, you're just a random person? Okay, well that's great, wonderful. Glad we found out how useless that is before. I mean, I guess if you made yourself like a full colony of people, like I, I expanded this into one giant area full of people, it would probably actually be pretty good. So maybe I'll work on that. Uh, but for the time being, I'm not really that concerned. Canvas. Canvas. Alright, so two of these actually need canvases. What do we, what do we look for in a canvas? Canvas. Free cotton wool. Which requires cotton fiber. Which I remember was a pain to get. Okay. Ooh! Quests! Is this really a floor in place? Really? I spent all that time looking for it and then I accidentally run into one? Okay. Sword likes Fantago scent, Florin wants to moor around, plant these seeds, once the crop is grown, bring Florin one toxic top, one sugar. I- I'm not- I'm not doing that. I'm not cooking for you. Scary crutter. Sure, I'll go do that. I'm not afraid of no crutter. Help find someone? Sure, I'm going to be exploring the planet anyway, because I'm looking for cotton. Alright. Another quest? It was a small pond ruin east of us when you saw the famous outlaw killer Jasmine the Bandit Leader. I'm going to accept that, right? It's going to be hard, yes, but I'm going to accept it because I do want additional team members, and I'm pretty sure this is how you get them. So, we're going to keep doing all of these quests and hoping for the best, I guess. Looks like Dreadwing may be put on hold, or Azranox will. One of them I would like to attempt, but we'll see. Oh! Isn't that Mother Pop Top? You're just a wild enemy now, huh? 
Okay. Is that alpaca beating up? Hi. Eat well if you want to fight well. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god, it's great. Yeah, go beat him up. Go. Go mess him up. I'm here to watch and support. Mess him up. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Okay. That's so beautiful. I have no other words for that other than that's beautiful. Alright. Goodbye, Alpaca. You were great. Oh. Oh, well, they're just casually going. You're just going to drown down there. Alright. Good luck. Oh, who are you? Are you the guy I need to escort? Oh, okay, everything's over here. Got it. Um... Right, so I need to kill you, I need to escort you. I don't want to do them at the same time. At all, I don't think. So, that's a problem. What I do want is... a strategy here. So if we come back here... Right... And build our way up... From here, we can triple jump all the way up here, whereas she shouldn't be able to. Okay. Right, let's give this a go. Let's hit you. Oh, wow, that's a long range shot. Calm down. Alright, I don't think she can get over that, so we can use this as a little bit of a defense post. Seems like it. Okay. Okay, we have a strategy here. I like this. Let's heal up. You could challenge me if you even know who I am. Yeah, some random scrub that's gonna get destroyed by my overwhelming strategy right here. Look at this. Do you see this strategy? <laughs> this is the cheesiest shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good about this, but I also do, because I know for a fact that I'm going to win, and that's nice. So, it's all good. I didn't even try and fight Elegy. I feel, I feel terrible, but also, I need to make sure that I escort this guy back, and I didn't want him to die. So, this is the ruin, right? They said that there was a little small creature near here or something? That was my other quest? I haven't seen that yet. That's a little bit worrying. we can avoid... Why are you still here? Why did you not come with me that entire time? God dang it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> there was no cotton on this planet, but hopefully we can get someone coming with us, or else this was just a complete waste of time. That thing looks terrifying. Nope. You know what we do against things that look terrifying? We build up, and we hide. We hide around the side. That's exactly what we do. Alright, let's fire some rockets, see if we can hit him. He looks very strong. Huh. I will continue to smack you in the face with giant rockets, okay? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Listen. I have an escort with me. I remember what happened last time I tried to escort someone when there was a giant monster. It went really bad. But I think that's him done, right? Okay, that should be our quest over and done with. The Outlaw was definitely a lot stronger. I could have fought that creature legit, but oh well. You know, it's a shame, but what are you gonna do? All right, there's a bunch more quests now by the looks of it, but I don't care. I wanna just hand in the ones that we have for the time being to wherever they have ended up now. So let's go ahead and look for them. Here's one. What are, you, what, are you, what are you gonna give me as a reward? Are you gonna give me a treasure bag? Florin looks strong. Florin wants to join you. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Hi. Boom. Oh, thank the lord. That is exactly what I was aiming for with this. Yes. Perfect. I didn't even look at what he was. I was so excited that he said hi. 
Okay, let's go handle the rest and see if we can hire any other Florence. We're gonna have a Florence army. That's my intention right now. Nice. Are you the leader of this place? No, you just have a really weird weapon. I respect it. Okay, you, were you the one that wanted the escort? Yes, you were. Boom. You look strong, Florence wants to join you! <gasps> Your ship can't support any more crew members. Oh. <laughs> well, well, that's not the worst. You know what? I'm still okay with that. That's fine. We can upgrade the ship. We have an extra crew member. That was all I was really after. I only really wanted one extra crew member anyway. I just got very excited when I saw that there could be another one. So it's fine. And you, here we go. And then we can go ahead and pop all these bad boys open. So loud. Upgrade module. We get tungsten. And more tungsten. Okay. Well, with that, I think that means that we are, in fact, done over here. We've got ourselves a new member, so let's quickly beam back to our ship. And then we can go and check on how our silk is doing. So, new member, where are you? Ooh, license class one obtained? Okay. Congratulations, you now have two crew members and qualify for the Sparrow license. You can upgrade your ship, visit Penguin Pete on the outpost with two upgrade modules. Yes. Yes, we have two upgrade modules. In fact, we have, like, a bunch with us. We have nine. We have nine in total. That's crazy. So are you a warrior? Do I not get to see? I don't think I get to see. That's a bit of a problem. But let's head to the outpost and let's check this out. Uh, Dreadwing looks like it's going to be next episode instead. So next week. As for the schedule at the moment, it is going to be one Starbound episode every week. Because I still have a temporary setup for my computer crashing. And I need to get that fixed. And also, this game takes a very long time to record. So, I'll upgrade your ship now. I'll sh I'm sure you'll be pleased with the level of craftsmanship. Okay. Do I get penguins with my ship, though? Okay, so that uses the upgrade module. So now if I go get more crew members... Let's just go check out the ship before I start speculating anything. What does that ship look like now? Oh! How do I open that? Uh... Do I just mine through it? Oh. Oh, okay. That, that works. <laughs> I just mine straight through it. Uh, there we go. Extra space on our ship. I like that a lot. That's really good. It looks a little bit elongated. Uh, but you know what? I'm cool with it. Why is it still wrapped in vines? Okay, that can't be good. How do they survive in space? You know, I whatever. It's fine. It'll... It's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and check on our fiber. See how that is going. Okay. squad <laughs> roll out oh my god we actually have people right here why is this scanning weirdly no that's fine okay uh are these good silk 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 nice okay they are help me out buddy no okay how much silk did i get from that i got a total of that's has blocks Seven silk fiber. I think I needed four, so I think we are actually in a good spot to make ourselves our first piece. Silk. Craft. Okay, and with that, we can go to the anvil. Uh, we need to get our titanium out. That helps. That does, in fact, help. Titanium. Yoink. And we can make ourselves our chest piece. Okay! So for the other two, we need canvas, which requires cotton. And I will admit, I find cotton very hard to get. <laughs> so... We will have to go looking for that, but still, first piece acquired. Bada bing, bada boom. So in comparison, plus 25% damage, like 8 defense, less energy and health, weirdly enough. No, 5 more energy and health. Wow, good job me. 
Good job, me. Right, let's go look for some cotton. <laughs> I just roll. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, 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 I tried to jump it. Oh, no, he's catching me. Oh no, he keeps on rolling. No one can stop him. He is the roly poly. Oh my god, look at all of these enemies, and I'm just rolling around like a fool. This is great. Okay. A person? Dark Knights near the ruined basement. Sure, I'll go fight some Dark Knights. This is my home world, what is happening here? Since when do I have people on my home world? Hello? What? What's going on here? Oh. Oh, them. Oh yeah, this could be this could be interesting. Kill the Dark Knights. Am I playing Dark Souls right now? Hello? Silver Knights? Anna Londo? Are those you? They didn't seem that strong. I expected more of a challenge, to be honest. It's all good, it's all good. I'm cool with that. Look at these guys just following me. Oh. Pfft, you can get out of here. Oh. They can get out of there. You can get out of here. Popping everything right now. Alright, what do you want? Welcome. You dealt with the Dark Knights. Yes, I did. We get ourselves a reward bag. Boom! We get gold ore. That's not great. Sorry, we brought a monster into your house. Maybe don't mind. What the heck is this? Have I found another floor in place? What is this? What's that? Glowing orb for storage? Hello? Oh, you're evil! Oh, okay. Oh! I found evil florins! I think. That orb. He didn't like me going into his orb. Oh my god, what is this? What's the what? Cross mounted skull. Oh. Great. Bongos. What is that? I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. I I have a strong feeling that's gonna get me killed. Uh No. Alright, they shot at it, so it must have been evil. Was that it? That was so set up to look like a boss. Okay, this is weird. Uh, there's another glowing orb. I mean, we already activated one. So, if, if this was the reason that they started attacking us, this definitely looks like a dungeon. Um... Oh, it just, that just goes to some random place. While this place does definitely look like a dungeon, I'm a little confused. Why is there a dungeon? Not there really has to be a reason why, but I thought Florence were good people. Oh, you look terrifying. Please. Disappear. Well, this is exciting. Oh, there's another one of those. No, 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 you gotta go away. The bat can wait. I don't know what that thing does, so it scares me. Could have like some kind of soul sapping move. I, I have no idea. Uh, more pixels, that's fine. You're not staying, you're coming with me. It's the last place I would want you to stay. Oh, ow. Okay. I'm curious what's at the bottom of this. Very curious. Okay. 
Hopefully they can deal with him while I deal with this one. Nice. Alright, teamwork, teamwork, I like it. Nothing in there, there's a guy up there. <laughs> Pop. 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 Okay. Nothing in that storage, there's a storage down here, sure. Nothing in there either, great. So would I have been able to scan in this area? Because that feels really weird to me. I think I would have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have, okay. I have manipulator upgrades, nice, nice. Huh. <gasps> gnome people! Oh, um, should probably get rid of that guy before I start getting distracted by the gnomes. <laughs> Alright, give me this chest. What's this? A one-handed... Skull Tomahawk, sure. These are known places. I'm quickly going to go and show this off, actually, because th this was exciting last time, and I had a lot of fun here. Uh, but let's go ahead. Drop on in. Gnome houses. Let's destroy the gnomes. Destroy the gnomes. Great, we got more balls of gnomes. So this is just like a bunch of gnome people living underground, and I think it's beautiful, and I think it's great. And I have no idea why it exists, but I love it. That's all I have to say about that. Right, let's continue exploring this floor and base and see if there's actually a, a point to it. See, I probably would have been able to scan stuff in here, because there's stuff that I've already scanned elsewhere. Huh. Primitive fire art. I need that for when the Fire Nation attacks. I actually need that, so that's fine. Okay, let's continue down. This just drops into Gnome People Land. Walls of Gnomes! <laughs> They're my gnomes now! <laughs> okay. Is that it? Is that the end of this place? I think it is. Well, that was different. Uh. But I got cotton, so I guess it's time for me to get on out of here. <gasps> More mushroom people! Oh my god, it's actually a mushroom people village. This is my dream. This is actually my dream. They have so much stuff. Oh, <gasps> there's so many of them. Why are the mushroom people not a race? Well, I mean, they are a race, kinda, but they're not a race like avian flora that we can play as. Why can't we play as the mushroom people? What did they do? They have huge villages as well. Why aren't they counted? What the heck? Radiation EPP upgrade. I'm gonna make this, uh, cause it seems incredibly important, and hopefully I won't forget that we have that. I'm gonna leave that on the ship. If there comes a time when I'm ever asking, how the hell do I get onto this radiation planet? Remind me of this, cause I'm pretty sure that's how. <gasps> I could buy canvas and silk all along. I hate everything. I'm buying canvas. I don't even care. Right, that's all we need. I've been waiting for my con to grow for so long. I'm so annoyed. I could buy it all along, really. Okay. Okay. Okay, at least, at least, at least we're done. At least we're done. <laughs> oh, if I go back and that con is grown. Oh, okay. I'm... Just forge me the armor and we are done for this episode. Next episode we will be sure to go ahead and fight Dreadwin. We will be sure to go ahead and fight Azra Nox. So we'll try and get both done, hopefully, to make up for not doing either in this episode. We did a lot this episode despite that. We upgraded our ship a bunch. We got a tenant moving into our house. We advanced in terms of armor a lot. I explored a lot of different planets and got a lot of man manipulators and tech cards, but we'll do that next episode. Overall, this episode's been a huge success in my mind, so let's go ahead, put this new armor on, feel nice and snazzy real quick, let me just, let me just put all this on, yeah, there we go. Alright, 130 health, so how much are we actually stronger? That's like an extra 15%, that's an extra 25%, and the legs are an extra 10%? Oh, I lost my breathing EPP because I made it into a radiation EPP. So does this still work on for breathing or not? 
A... Hmm. Okay, yeah, it does still work. It still works as a breathing EP, so we just upgrade it. That's fine. I was a little bit worried for a second there. I thought we ruined something, but no. Breathing EPP still works. It's just now a radiation EPP. Right. That's fine. So just out of curiosity, as the last thing I'm going to check for this episode, how would we upgrade this EPP further if we can? Or can we not see that yet? Because we might need Durasteel upgrades and stuff. Breathing EPP, radiation EPP upgrade. Okay, I don't think we can see what we need for the next EPP upgrade, if there is one. Because I know I saw something to do with like an alien planet and stuff, but that was tied near radiation. So I think we might be able to upgrade it further, because there is still like tier 4, tier 5 planets, maybe further. So there's always that. But for now, this is when we're going to be rounding off this episode, because I have been recording for three hours, and that is way too long. <laughs> so if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!